All right, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. Here we go. Get ready, because I might have a meltdown during this one, even though I haven't had my second freaking cup of coffee yet. So, yes, <laughs> I'm laughing. It's Wednesday, June 8th, 2022. We'll start with this. Um, you know, how about this? Let, let's talk about the thing known as Janet Yellen. All right, I know lately I've been talking about this thing a lot here. Um, she came out with a couple of things yesterday that were, you know, look, no surprise to you or me, but again, look, there's no accountability. So Janet Yellen is now saying that inflation is here to stay. It's here to stay after admitting that she was wrong. Oh, so wrong about, you know, Temporary inflation, transitory, you know, now it's, you know, it's kind of a permanent fixture around here. Imagine my shock. Um, but you see what she won't explain to you, again, is you and I have to be ready for what's coming. And it's unstoppable. That is yet another incredible surge higher in inflation. So just be ready for that. Speaking of inflation, getting a lot worse here. Crude oil, again, people higher. WTI, about $121 a barrel. Uh, don't listen to Greg Manorino anymore. You know, Goldman Sachs, you know, just pulled that their number out of a hat. $140 a barrel. That was my number several days ago. I mean, look, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure this stuff out. And, and you know, I'll tell you something else. 140, $140 crude is probably a conservative number. Um, I heard from a lot of you yesterday who think it's going much higher. And I, you know what? I, I agree. I think it is going higher than that too. So the other thing we got out of the creature, you know, whatever she is, it, Yellen, okay, Yellen Stain. She's another thing out there. You all know that. She's explaining that the American people need to cough up another $80 billion to allow the IRS to do its job. Oh, imagine Greg Manorino's shock here. You mean more cash just created out of thin air that we have to throw out another criminal agency here? Oh, oh, really? Anyway, what else did we find out this morning before we go look at the market? So, so, you know, let, let's talk a little bit more. I'm laughing again. I, ha I hate this. So Bank of America yesterday, you know, their big warning here um, that home affordability has, in their words, collapsed. It's not collapsing. It has collapsed. Well, to back that up, this morning we found out that mortgage demand fell to a 22-year low. Now, there's a post an article in the activist post you should have a look at. Just go look this up. Um, explaining how surging inflation is is creating homelessness on an epic scale. I mean, duh. Um, nice article, but it's a no-brainer here. What have I told you for I don't know how long now? We're in the middle of a two, the creation of a two-tier society. They're in the middle of wiping out an entire class of people, making them dependent on the system, and that's the truth. Look around your own neighborhood. I don't know about you, but me, every major intersection, every major intersection, there's people out here with, with uh, signs, you know, asking people for, for money. Um, it's over here. Uh, what they have done, it, it, this is a deliberate act, they are deliberately crushing people um, and creating a homelessness crisis. Be ready for that too. And, and that'll get funded by you via the Federal Reserve is gonna create cash out of, out of freaking thin air. It's totally the truth. Anyway, so um, with, with that said, I was writing a few things down here this morning. Um, I pretty much covered what I wanted to. Let's let's go throw an eye over here at the market. So stock futures trading doesn't start for about half an hour, thirty-one minutes to be exact. Okay, but with that said, you got stock futures that are slightly lower. Okay, we got the ten-year yield above three percent. Crude oil surging higher, a stronger dollar comparatively. You know its strength. 
is is stronger. Um, so what does the setup look like to me? I'm going to say it's 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 more or less neutral this morning. Let's see what happens with with this market. Uh, as we all know, ten year yield above three percent is a sweet spot in this environment. You must understand again because I keep getting pounded, pounded with questions about this. The market dynamics are always changing. They're always changing. Okay. Now, understanding what the Fed is doing now, nudging the federal funds rate, this theory of quantitative tightening, and we'll see how that plays out. And no doubt. There's no doubt in my mind, and it shouldn't be in yours either. Uh, in my opinion, you're allowed to have yours, of course, that um, the 10 year yield is going to settle above three, three, and a, three and a quarter, somewhere around there. Um, and in my view, yet again, the market's going to adjust to this. It's going to like it, believe it or not. Um, and the and the economic news, excuse me, itchy nose. The economic news, as we've seen as of late, you know, it, despite the narrative that we're, we're doing so good and everything is great, we're booming, the, the fact is the global economy is, is collapsing. This is an economic collapse. And the market is still, again, uh, holding up relatively well here. And that's because, again, the crisis to crisis to crisis mechanism, the fact that central banks, none more so than the Fed, are going to continue to inflate. They're going to find reasons to pull cash out of the future. Thank you, Janet Yellenstein, another uh, $80 billion to support a criminal organization. Tens of billions, soon to be in the trillions of dollars to, to fund uh, a proxy war or a real war, United States and, and Russia, and everything else that's going on around us, monkey pox, shit pox, crap pox, or whatever else they want to throw at us, COVID, I mean, you know, make any of this stuff up, it's impossible to do. But that's really the truth, people, that's where we stand, it's, it's just too much, honestly. So in summary here, real quick, we found out that um, you know mortgage demand has literally cratered to a 22-year low, and, and we haven't seen anything yet. Meanwhile, housing prices continue to surge, rents out of control, food and energy inflation. You haven't seen a damn thing yet. Nothing, you know. So if you want to listen to Janet Yellen, who's now saying again that inflation is here to stay, but she won't tell you the truth. There is no way she will that inflation is going to surge much higher from here. And this is a deliberate act, again, by the Federal Reserve, keeping not keeping their uh, this interest rate suppression cycle going, and that's what this is. They're guaranteeing. It's a guarantee. And I can't understand, again, why. I mean, I always ask all of you, why is it that not one of our our you know lovely caring politicians calls the Fed to account uh, and brings them before a committee before the American people and have them explain themselves because you see they're all puppets every single one of them are puppets they understand what's going on or maybe they don't they could just all be retarded which is distinctly possible but you and I clearly uh, understand what's going on here it's, it's totally twisted so anyway um, Market futures, like I said, slightly lower. Let's see where this goes. I would call today open, neutral. Crude oil continuing to surge higher. The dollar uh, st strength this morning is a fly in the ointment. Anyway, look, that's where we are. Let's, uh, let's continue to do what we are doing. We're not going to deviate people. In my opinion, and I'm going to say this again for I don't know how long I've been telling you this, you need exposure to oil and gas producers, okay? Um, I've recommended three for quite a while now, ExxonMobil, uh, XOM, ticker XOM, ticker CVX, ticker DVN, and, and, and these have absolutely crushed, they've done so well. Um, PDBC, Commodity ETF, I wrote a whole piece on it yesterday and I put it out in my free newsletter, link in the description of this video. Um, please do subscribe there. If you have not seen that piece I wrote on PDBC, go look at it. Should be, it will be in your inbox over there. A lot of stuff um, going on here, people. And we're not going to let this fleece us in any way, shape, or form. But what you can expect moving forward, now that we have a 10-year yield nudging higher, as we expect, 
We got crude oil continuing to move higher. Um, a couple of other things just need to fall into place, and this market is going to rip higher faster than anyone can possibly imagine. We need tech to play, and we need the financials to play, and I think I think both of these things are going to play. It's just a matter of time here, and as the economy free falls faster, the stock market will go higher. Count on it. All right, this guy here loves you a lot. Please comment here. I uh, ask you, as always, to share the video, and I'll see all of you later. Bye-bye.